In this video, we are going to learn how to do matrix multiplication. I am assuming that you already know how to do uh, how to multiply a matrix by a column vector because we've done a lot of that so far. So your uh, anti-set warm-up is to multiply this square matrix by this column vector and this square matrix by this column vector. So go ahead and do that. Hit pause. Okay, here comes your solutions. So what we do, I'll just do the first one out. Um, so I go and I multiply across and down. So I multiply this row by the column. And I do 1 times the 5, 1 times 5, uh, plus this 2 times the negative 2. And then in the bottom, this row right here, this bottom row, I do the, the bottom row times the column, dotted, if you know what a dot product is. So I do 3 times 5 uh, plus a 4 times a negative 2. If you simplify those, you get 1, 7. And for the second one, you do the same type of math. Um, we go across and down, and I get this. And then I go across and down, and I get this. So we get uh, 1, 7 for the first one and 13, 33 for the second one. So maybe that's a little bit of review. Um, you should know how to do that. So let's get into um, how to multiply two square matrices. So um, I'm actually going to take 1, 2, 3, 4, our original matrix there, and I'm going to multiply it by 5, 7, negative 2, 3. Now, what I want you to notice is that this 5, negative 2 is the same as that, and this 7, 3 is the same as that. Um, essentially, if you can do the top two problems, then you can do this. You just have to um, see how you piece it together. So um, what we do, and I will show you as we move along to figure out um, the size of the matrix that we get out of the multiplication. But for now, I'm just going to tell you that it's a two by two. You might see it at the end of this. So I'm going to leave a long space, right, uh, for each entry. This is, this is an entry, this is an entry, this is an entry, and this is an entry. Now, um, in, in this row right here, I'm going to multiply this row by that column. Now, let me explain why it goes here. Do you see that this is the top of this matrix, and this is the left of this matrix? It is the top by the left. It goes, that multiplication goes in the top left of our, our, um, our answer, of the product of these two. The top by the left goes in the top left. Where do you think the bottom by the right is going to go. It's going to go in the bottom right. Um, so what I do is the same type of multiplication that I did up here. I'm going to get 1 times 5 plus 2 times negative 2. 1 times 5 plus 2 times negative 2. And notice that's this same piece up here. So when I do this out, I'm just going to get my 1 there. Um, the next one that I'm going to do is, let me get rid of these, doop, doop, and we'll go to the next color. I'm going to go do top by right. That is going to go in the top right entry right here. So when I do that, I do 1 times 2, sorry, not 1 times 1 times 7 plus 2 times 3. Um, notice that is this piece right here. So 1 times 7 plus 2 times 3. And that's going to give us 13. Um, the next two are going to be we'll go to yellow. And we'll erase this and that. We'll go this. That's the bottom. It's going to get multiplied by the left. So I'm going to put it in the bottom left. Um, that's going to give me 15 is that first product. Oops purple, 15, which is 3 times 5, um, minus what? 
minus 8. Um, and that's the same, that comes from this operation right here. So it gives me 7. And then um, you should see, hopefully, where the last one comes from. I'll get rid of the colors. Um, and we will go to purple. Um, I'm going to go bottom by right. And that goes in the bottom right entry. So that gives me, all right, uh, 21. And then uh, plus 12. And uh, that gives me my 33. So hopefully you see how these operations up here show up in the square matrix multiplication. Um, I'm going to have you try one. Uh, the one that I'm going to have you do is, um, let's go with negative 3, 2, 4, negative 1. And we're going to multiply that by um, negative 2, 5 negative one, three. Um, if you want to pause it and try it, go ahead. Um, and then I will walk through the solution myself in a moment. Okay, it is going to be a square matrix. In the top left right here, I'm going to go top by left. So that gives me a right, negative three times negative two. That's the top, boom, and then plus 2 times negative 1. That is top by left. Um, and then I'm going to go top by right. So that gives me, that just gives me negative 15. That's the product of this and this, and then plus 6. Um, and then the next one is going to be this product by that product. It's the bottom left. So I get negative 8, and then plus 1. That is 4 times negative 2, and then this double negative with the 1s. Um, and then the bottom right is going to be, well, 4 times 5 is 20, and then minus 3. So if you simplify all that, um, you should get um, 4, negative 9, negative 7, and 17. So hopefully you see that. All right, so now what I'm going to do is um, um, take this right here, but I'm going to switch them. So I want you to multiply 5, 7, negative 2, 3 by 1, 2, 3, 4. Go ahead and do that one. This one I definitely want you to hit pause and do it, and then I'll pop the answer up in a moment. Hit pause, do it. Okay, hopefully you got 26, 38, 7, 8. Now, what is weird about this? If we were to call this matrix right here A and this matrix B, then this would be the product of A times B. And this, remember, we switched them, right? So this would be the product of B times A. And look, I got that and that. And how do they compare with each other here? Notice they're not the same. I think that should be pretty obvious. Um, and that's actually true with most matrices. A times B is very often, almost always often, almost always often, that doesn't make any sense, almost always B times A times B is not the same as B times A. Um, th there are some matrices for which when I multiply them the other way around, um, when I switch the order of multiplication, uh, they're the same and they are a special category of matrices. But most matrices, when you flip them like that, they do not give you the same thing. Um, and that's like one way that matrices are very different from real numbers. Because if I were to do five times four, that's the same as four times five. It's called the commutative property. So um, that's important to recognize and to remember, and it has all kinds of consequences as you continue to do things with matrices. Okay, so now what we're going to do is um, uh, do some matri matrix multiplication with non-square matrices. We did it with square ones there. Um, so let's go and let's call the matrix C equal to... Um, 
2, negative 1, 3. So it's 3 wide, 0, 4, negative 2. And I'm going to call D equal to 3, negative 2, 0, 1, or sorry, 0, negative 1, and then 1, 2. So um, we are going to do, we're going to calculate C times D, and we're also going to try to calculate D times C. So um, let's do C times D equals, I'm going to pause and rewrite that. So the first question here becomes, what size is the matrix C times D? Is it, um, is it a column vector? Is it a two by two? Is it a three by three? What is it, right? Okay, so look here, I'm going to go top row by left column. So that's going to give me a top left. And then I'm going to go top row by right column. And that's going to give me a top right. And notice I don't have any more columns. So I've, I've filled out the first, the entire first row. I did top by this and top by that. And then I'm going to go with the bottom row. I'm going to go bottom by left. So that's going to give me this. And then bottom by right. And that's going to give me this. So I hope you see that we can use this top left, top right, whatever, to figure out the size of the matrix that we get out of this multiplication. So now what we're going to do is do 2 times 3, which is 6. And then 1, negative 1 times 0, plus 0. And then 3 times 1, so plus 3. And that's how I fill out that top row, or that, that, that entry. I do the same type of multiplication that I did up above. So I'm going to fill the rest of those in. You should pause and see if you can fill them in and if, if we agree with each other. So do these guys here. So uh, hopefully you got negative 4. That was, um, what was it? Let's see, that's the top right. So that's this times that. And then plus one is this times that. And then plus six is this times that. The zero, zero, two is zero times this plus four times zero. That's the second zero. Minus two is this product here. And then this one, you do the same way. And you get this right here. So um, I want to quickly uh, try to do D times C. All right, so take a look at this. I want you to try to figure out the size of the matrix that we're going to get out of this. It is not the same as the ones we've done before. We're not going to get a two by two. See if you can pause and figure that out. If you said three by three, awesome. Good job. If not, let me help you see it. So I'm going to go like this. All right, I got top by left. That's entry number one. Then I get top by middle. That's entry number two. And then I get, get out of here top by right. That is entry number three. And then I get middle by left. Boom. I get middle by middle. Boom. I get middle by right. Boom. Notice I've used the top two rows with everything. Now I got to use the bottom row. Now I get bottom by left, bottom by middle, and then bottom by right. So notice we get a three by three out here. And my multiplication here is a little bit easier because I only have two pieces for each of these. So I get this times that, that's six, plus uh, negative two times zero, so zero. And then the next entry is this times that. So that gives me negative three minus eight. And then the last entry on the top is uh, nine, three times three, um, and then this times that, so plus four. In the middle row, I get this, this zero here is really nice. It, it makes this easier because um, when I multiply across and down, I get this times that, it's zeros, right? So I actually get zero times, zero times two minus one times zero plus zero. And then the next one I get zero times this uh, minus four. And I'm going to pause for a moment and fill in the rest. You should try to fill them in on your own. So hopefully you agree with all this and we got this. Um, and I hope that you understand a little bit about matrix multiplication. In fact, you should be able to multiply most matrices because you now have a strategy for figuring out the dimensions of what we get out of things. There are some matrices for which we cannot multiply. You should see that the across needs to match the down. Um, but I'm about to run out of time. So I will see you in the next video. See ya.